Dearest Martin, we will soon hear more of your great music, but we will now move on into the prize ceremony. And in order to read the citation for you, we didn't only bring one person, we actually brought three. They are amazing musicians, and we know they are some of your greatest friends. Please welcome up on stage Brian Littrell, Howie Doro, and Kevin Richardson from Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Good evening. We are so honored and happy to be here tonight to be a part of the celebration of one of our friends. Nick and AJ send their love and congratulations to you. The year was 1995. Five young, motivated, bright-eyed Southern boys from the United States hopped on a plane to Stockholm, Sweden. It was our first time out of the United States, and I couldn't think of a more beautiful place to come. We were on a journey to to start recording and develop our sound, and that's where we first met Max Martin and his mentor, Dennis Pop. Upon first meeting or seeing them from across the room, we thought we may have accidentally be working with Metallica, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> but we soon, we soon, were put at ease once we got in the studio. But we have so many great memories here in your country, in this city in Stockholm, Sweden. We developed our sound here with Max, Dennis, and all the team at Sharon. So many wonderful memories, laughs, halo battles. Um, and Max, you changed our lives. You helped us find our voice. It was so beautiful to watch you go from protege to master, and to continue watching you do that year after year after year after year. In an industry where it's all about the newest and the freshest and the hottest and the next, you have mastered that. So thank you for changing my life. Like Kevin said, some of the early years of us recording our records here in Stockholm are some of the memories that I will cherish for the rest of my life. You, Max, and the whole Sharon team, you guys always made us feel welcomed here, to a point that we actually call this our second home over the years. Max, you truly are the heart and soul of the Backstreet Boys. It's because of you that we are here today, and I truly call you the honorary sixth member of the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> You, as Kevin has said, changed our lives. And we owe all our success to you for all the music that you have brought into our lives that you've written and or produced. So thank you very much, Max, for changing our lives. My turn. Oh, I didn't think this was going to be that hard. Um, just like he said in his opening montage, he likes to hold hands in the studio, and I wish he was here to hold my hand. 
Um, here, you hold my hand. All right. <laughs> okay, okay, enough. Um, the, uh, the funny thing, I'll, I'll start with something very, very light. Um, tonight we heard a song called As Long As You Love Me as one of Max's favorites. Um, 19 years ago yesterday, I met my wife uh, on the set of the As Long As You Love Me video. We're still together. <laughs> and it's because of this guy. Wrote the song, produced it, he's like, hey, go sing this, go sing this, go sing this. Ow. Okay. <laughs> and so we did. Um, but I ask you tonight, um, what, what is a song? A song is, they're words that become lyrics that if you put them in the right time and space and place with, a, with an infectious melody, they become a song. And they become a life-changing, life-memorable moment at that very moment in time. I know you guys can remember the first time you heard your favorite song and you still carry it with you today. And we have so many of Max Martins. And I just want to say that I love you, I appreciate you, and thank you for sharing and being so giving with your words and your lyrics and your melodies. Um, thank you for sharing your songs and allowing us to carry them with us for the rest of our lives. And now, a citation. The Polar Music Prize 2016 is awarded to songwriter Max Martin, I'm sorry, Martin Sandberg, from Stockholm, Sweden. He writes under Max Martin. Um, melodies are like time capsules. Melodies define their time. They spread from person to person, across borders and across generations. In the last 20 years, no composer in the world has written melodies as sustainable or as widespread as those of Max Martin. Right now, at this very moment, somewhere, someone in this world will be singing a hit song written and produced by Max Martin. That's right. With his ear for song melodies, his musical precision and craftsmanship, he has refined and developed the world's popular music. Max Martin, please come up here on stage to receive the prize from the hand of His Majesty the King. Um, your Majesties, 
Your Royal Highnesses, Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, and the Polar Music Prize jury. Well, you did it. You blew my cover. I managed to hide between two speakers in a basement for over 20 years. And then you did this. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, I have to start with the late Dennis Pop and Rodning Holmsvägen 35. Without him and that place, I simply wouldn't be standing here tonight. Oh, shit. Um, he made me realize how difficult it is to make things sound simple. But the most important thing he taught me was the power of the team. I really shouldn't be the only one up here right now. There should be at least 30 people joining me on stage tonight. Some of them were kind enough to show up, and I thank you for that. I know you're all busy people. Um, Johan, Shellback, Christer, Rami, where are you? Alexander Kronlund, and everyone else, you know who you are. Without you, I'd still be selling CDs at the Mega Skiva Academy, <laughs> uh, a block from here. <laughs> and given the status of the CD today, you all understand that my life would be <laughs> hopeless. Um, <laughs> and just like Dennis, who loved to see new talent blossom, I now find myself in the enviable position to see girls and guys like Lale, Tovelo, the Wolf Cousins write, produce, and perform great music. You're truly, you're truly incredible. It's hard to keep up, actually, for me. I also want to take this opportunity to thank the part of my team operating behind the scenes. I especially want to thank Chefenes Chef, Kungenes Kung, Thomas Jung. In English, boss of all bosses, king of all kings. Sorry. Uh, that kind of thing. I'm going to move on. I'm moving on. Moving on. But he's been with me since day one for over 20 years. And you are the definition of loyalty. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> um, and people often ask me what it takes to write a, the perfect pop song for some reason. And um, in my opinion, there are two secrets. The first one, steal from the best. I confess, I have through the years ripped off giants like ABBA, KISS, who is on the screen, crazy, the late amazing Prince, and of course, Lasse Holm. <laughs> this guy wrote some amazing songs, I'm telling you. I mean the pre-chorus on Vex and Hallo. And lead them blink to thicken, say you can. You know? Genius. I owe you big time, wherever you are. <laughs> the second and most important secret is love. Jenny and Doris, you really make me a better person. And I could not have done this without you, and I love you very much. Almost done. It's funny, you know, always felt, I always felt like writing and producing pop music has always been like being at the children's table a little bit, you know. But um, I don't mean to complain. The children's table is amazing. You can come and go as you like. Um, no one, you know, complains if you make a mess, and the food is not weird. Uh, so that's amazing. But I have to admit, when the Polar Music Prize called me, invited me here, for one night at least, to come and sit with the adults, I was both surprised and I was flattered, and I can't thank you enough for this huge honor. But don't worry, tomorrow I'll be back. I'll be back in hiding. 
at the kids' table in the basement. Again, thank you all.